One of the first things that I like to check is if there's enough air in the tires. If you can squeeze the tire and it feels soft and spongy, you definitely need to put air in your tires. They should be pretty firm to the touch. Of course, when you're sitting on it, there's much more weight on the wheels. So you have to gauge based on what the recommended PSI is. It'll say on the sidewall here, do you want to check maybe every few weeks once you start riding more regularly how your tire pressure is holding up. With the tires, you want to check to see that the tread is still good and that there's enough meat on the tire. Um, you also want to make sure that the sidewall seems good, not cracking, not dried up. Some commuter tires come with a wear strip, which indicates to you immediately if the tire needs to be replaced. So there will either be a red or a green strip on the tire itself uh, once it's worn. But another way of checking is that if you, if you have a tread pattern and that's worn smooth, you're definitely in need of replacing your tires. I always like to check the brakes um, to make sure that the pads still have enough life in them. If you squeeze the lever and see that there's about an inch, uh, inch left here, that's good. If you squeeze the lever and it comes down close to the grips, that's when you want to make sure that you get it checked out and check, check the pads here to make sure that they're not worn out too much. I like to make sure that the chain uh, has adequate lubrication on it. Over time, they'll get dry, and if they get too dry, they'll start to corrode and, and start to form rust. So with a simple um, chain lube, you can drop lubrication on the chain all the way around until you've covered every link. And once you've done that, you should always remember to wipe the excess uh, grease off. If your chain is extra dirty, you can always take an old toothbrush, brush out all that grime, and then go ahead and lubricate your chain. Another cleaning aspect is the, just the frame. A good way to clean it off is you can just take a rag, a damp rag, and wipe down the entire frame. And for parts that might be particularly dirty uh, or very grimy, you can use something like a Simple Green, which is an all-purpose degreaser and cleaner. And you can spray that on your rag and then give it an extra wipe down and make sure it is all clean. I like to sometimes just give the bike a little bounce. If there are any unusual noises, you want to try to figure out where they're coming from. Could just be a loose accessory like a bottle cage or it could be something more serious. A lot of people have uh, very strong opinions about the three points of contact where they sit on the bike where they put their feet on the bike and where you put their hands on the bike. So sometimes if you're looking for a quick upgrade, looking at these, these components is a nice way to give the bike a new feel. 